We're now joined on site live at West Bloomfield Parks Connect as they're celebrating their grand reopening this morning. Robert Brooks joins us now on the Splash Live, the chairperson of the West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation Commission. Rob, thank you for being with us. As it's a very exciting day out at 14 Mile and Farmington Road for your team. Tyler, thank you so much for having me. And Tyler, this is not only exciting, it's exciting to our community because our seniors have another place. As you know, we were formerly located near Maple and on Orchard Lake Road. And now this new location is gonna just add to our ability to get our seniors together and have a place. Place is important to community because our community uh, coming together is something really special here in West Bloomfield. As I stand here and I look at the diversity of those that are here, I want to especially thank our Senior Advisory Committee who gives us a great voice to understand what our seniors need here. And as we think through this and we open this new facility with a ribbon cutting today our excitement is immense here in our community so again thank you for hosting thank you for having us on and thank you for any comments that you've made to encourage others to come out today and in the days forward today we'll do a ribbon cutting at 9 30 and the facility will be open all morning long for those in the community to stop by just check it out. It is a wonderful, wonderful facility. And the location is 33230 West 14 Mile Road. That's at the cross street of 14 Mile and Farmington Road. It's in the same complex as Bush's Fresh Food Market. That's a landmark you can look for to find this new location if you're not sure of that area, 14 Mile and Farmington Road in West Bloomfield Township. Uh, joining us is Robert Brooks, the chairperson of the West Bloomfield Township. Uh, Parks and Recreation Commission and, and Rob we talked to Kelly Heyer earlier about from an administrative standpoint what they were looking for in formulating this facility years ago and finding this new location and bringing this up to where it's at now uh, at the new location from a commission standpoint when did these discussions begin about we need a dedicated place as you said for our seniors to to call home for these sorts of activities and social interaction. So it began approximately seven years ago, initially. And, you know, we, when we moved into Orchard Mall, unfortunately, we ran into a pandemic. But as you know, our um, seniors are resilient, um, like you and our Generation Z folks. And uh, they're learning to move with the punches. And they came together and stayed together at our Recreation Activity Center um, as we moved and transitioned to the place we've moved into today. So again, this is exciting. Um, it will be continued as not only a vision, but we would really love to see in our total vision, if you look on our website at uh, wbparks.org, you'll see our mission and our vision of having a center for all, not just for our seniors, but for all our community as a recreation center that we'd like to build out on the township campus. So you're gonna hear more and more about that as the year goes forward and into next year. And we look forward to bringing that to our community so our entire community can enjoy coming together as a community. A great place to learn more about all of those different projects that are maybe coming down the pike from West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation or things they want to add to enhance the parks and the recreation uh, facilities and abilities in our local communities by watching those West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation Commission meetings. You can find them live and on demand on CivicCenterTV.com uh, each and every month, including coming up in just a, a couple weeks here on Civic Center TV. Joining us from Connect Senior Center in West Bloomfield is Robert Brooks, the chairperson of the West Bloomfield Township Parks and Recreation Commission. And uh, Rob, how does this, this particular facility, uh, these particular activities really encompass all that West Bloomfield Parks is looking for in their day-to-day -day amenities and availabilities to residents of our community? How does this perfectly capture what it means to be involved with West Bloomfield Parks? Well, this particular center is configurable in all sorts of ways. And we think that's really important. It also is located in an area where many of our seniors shop today. And we have great partners in this area with the Bushes Market. We have um, 
a couple of other restaurants and right near to here. And we just think this uh, continues to evolve our community. Um, Susan Levine will be here talking and kick this off in a few moments from our chamber. And it's important to our businesses here as well that people are out. And not only are they out, they're out, they're exercising, they're talking to one another, they're learning from one another. And that's what keeps West Bloomfield as a community the place to be and the best diversity in our state. So again, thank you so much. Yeah, glad to have you on, Rob. And before we let you go, uh, we, we've had the Connect Senior Center in a dedicated location before. These programs have persisted through the pandemic, through the move out of the Orchard Mall and the time in between there and the new location at 14 and Farmington Road. But overall, what has the response been, particularly from the senior community, but also their loved ones about having a facility like this that people can call home for seniors in our community and having even greater ability to have a wide variety of programs available to our elder community. I get so many calls and emails relative to the seniors from either their children or from others or even from themselves just sharing their excitement and how they feel so com so much in, in their lives are completed by having a place to come together and you know the staff that supports this with our West Bloomfield Parks is just the most outstanding staff. And Kaylin McMahon is the leader for our Senior Connect. And quite frankly, she and her team do one outstanding job. So again, my hat's off to the staff. We couldn't do it without the staff we have that is just so wonderful within West Bloomfield Parks. If you can't make if you can't make it out there today, wbparks.org slash connect for more information and updates, including their regular hours, activities, and events that will be happening at Connect in the near future, as well as that address, once again, 33230 West 14 Mile Road at the old Pet Value a Pet Store location in West Bloomfield. Same location, same uh, facilities uh, as the Bush's Fresh Food Market. And of course, you can always call West Bloomfield Parks for more information at 248-451-1900. Rob, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tyler.